How to get your first 100 subscribers on YouTube in 2020. Five tips for new YouTube artists. Please watch until the end for your bonus tip. Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Before we start, I just want to make it clear that I am not a YouTube expert, nor do I have a huge YouTube following. I am still a beginner. And these tips are from my personal experience and observations. What I do have that might be of value is my obsessive compulsive habit to study and analyze the crap out of stuff that interests me, which can be almost everything. Alright, let's start with the 5 tips to get your first 100 subscribers on YouTube in 2020. The first tip is to find your tribe. It is a good idea to find like-minded people on YouTube such as other YouTube artists. It's even better if you can find other YouTube artists at your own level so you can relate to what they're doing and learn from their own mistakes. You don't have to find other artists that has the same style of art as you. For example, if you are a traditional artist that draws and paints, you can still connect with digital artists. If you're watching this video, then you most likely are already doing that. One of the mistakes that I do see people do while finding their tribe is to solicit to every type of channel, regardless if it is within their niche or not. This is just my personal preference, but I'm not going to be very responsive when a channel that focuses on investing in stocks, for example, drops a comment about how I should subscribe to their channel that has nothing to do with art. This is a very inauthentic approach and will most likely yield very superficial results, if any at all. The second tip to get your first 100 subscribers on YouTube as a new artist is to be patient. The first 100 subscribers are going to be a very slow growth and what I've noticed through my own observations as well as what other YouTube experts tell us is that YouTube growth is exponential. So you will grow quicker over time. For example, your first 100 subscribers on YouTube might have taken you one month, but your next 100 subscribers might only take you two weeks and so on. The third tip that I have for you is to let go of perfectionism. I am extremely guilty of this and I believe many other artists are guilty of perfectionist ways as well. And what I want to point out here to help you try to balance that out is something called the Pareto Principle, also known as the 80-20 rule, which means roughly 80% of the effects come from 20% of the effort. For example, if one art piece might have taken you three hours, a lot of us might have taken 30 minutes or specifically 36 minutes to have created 80% of the result and spent the next two and a half hours tweaking it and perfecting it. What I recommend here is to try to become comfortable with results that are good enough. I am still working on this every day, so be patient with yourself and work on improving incrementally as you go. The fourth tip is to focus on learning. Whether you're learning about the YouTube algorithm or trying to learn how to improve your art, I think it's very important to make sure that your focus is on learning and not so much on growing your subscriber count. I am a firm believer that learning is earning and if you focus on learning and constantly improve, you will naturally grow your following and your YouTube subscribers. That leads us to the fifth tip, which is to set SMART goals. SMART goals is an acronym that stands for specific, measurable, achievable, 
relevant and time bound. One of the traps that I fell into when I started this channel is that I set a goal of how many subscribers I wanted to accumulate each day. This was a really bad goal because it takes time for people to subscribe to you and whether or not other people subscribe to you is out of your control and then if you lose any subscribers along the way you might lose your goal setting you back so instead what i did was set more specific goals such as subscribing and commenting on about 10 other youtube artists every day and letting go of the control of whether they subscribe back to me or not for my bonus tip which I feel is the most important tip is don't compare yourself to other artists you don't want to compare yourself to other YouTube artists especially the very successful ones because that might destroy your confidence it puts you into a never-ending cycle of negative thinking patterns and can be just overall bad for your mental health there's always going to be people out there that are better than you that are more successful than you and it does you no good to beat yourself up for not meeting them at where they are when you're just at the beginning all right those are the tips that i have for you to get your first 100 subscribers on youtube in 2020 as a new youtube artist if you have any other tips for new YouTube artists starting with zero subscribers and zero views that you want to add to this list, please leave that in the comment below. If you found this video to be useful, please give it a like and subscribe so you don't miss out on more videos. Thank you so much for watching and I will see all of you beautiful souls in the next video.